Hello, everyone. So how many of you here have uh, ever received instructions from your providers for an upcoming procedure or appointment or surgery? And by the time you got home, you said, shoot, what was I supposed to do? Or when was I supposed to do whatever it is that the doctor told me to do? Yeah? Well, OK. Yep. Basically, uh, you're not alone. This is a very common problem. Um, over hundreds of millions of patients every year prepare for their surgeries and procedures. And the problem is the instructions are usually given months or weeks in advance uh, in paper-based handouts that I'm sure you've all had before, in rushed verbal instructions that are usually, as nurses, bounce from patient room to patient room or phone call to phone call. And leading up to the procedure, uh, the problem is patients have a lot of questions that go unanswered. Um, the anxiety builds up. And we know that when the patient experience is broken, the hospital suffers. And the most obvious way we see this is when the patients miss really important things that they're supposed to do before the procedure and ends up canceling last minute or failing the preparation altogether. Now, every year, there are over 160 million procedures and surgeries that are performed. And it is estimated that about, about 11 million uh, lost slots are created because of uh, failed preparations or cancellations or no-shows. Um, I'm very fortunate that I have a team of highly uh, committed and qualified professionals that are uh, teaming up to address this problem. We have two physicians who are from Harvard and Yale, a Harvard MBA, um, a technical co-founder with over 15 years of experience, and a brilliant, brilliant product designer. And together, we knew that in order to tackle this massive problem, we needed to start somewhere in focus. So we chose uh, colonoscopy as our beachhead market. And we chose that because it's a high volume procedure, over 14 million uh, procedures conducted a year, and a 12% no-show late cancellation or fail prep. And every time that happens, it's a $1,400 loss to the practice. And so through uh, the HealthWorks program, we uh, learned that our key customers are the GI department chiefs and the uh, business operation managers. And when we look at a, a, a practice like this, where 15,000 colonoscopies conducted a year, 12% 12, 12 um, no-shows and late cancellations, about $1,400 uh, per slot loss. So that's a $2.5 million problem. So our value proposition for our customers is to improve operational efficiency and recover uh, some of that lost revenue. And we do so through our patient instruction platform to get patients to show up on time prepared and ultimately successfully complete their procedures. So a little bit more about the product. We deliver um, basically automated instructions uh, that are based on a set of smart algorithms. So imagine from following the registration of a patient from uh, being scheduled for an appointment, they receive a series of precisely timed instructions directly on their own devices through text message and emails with a link to additional web, applica web application and content that helps them prepare for their surgeries at exactly the time when they need to do something and guides them through how they need to do it. Um, when we talk to the hospitals and our customers, we find that we're constantly being compared to our competitors based on two dimensions. The first dimension is, how many of my patients can you actually reach and can actually influence? The other dimension is, can you do so without disrupting workflow? So along that first dimension patient reach, we intentionally uh, went low tech and picked a method that does not require any app downloads, because that was a barrier, uh, doesn't require logins, pa uh, access codes, patient portals. And because of that, we've been able to reach over 96% of the patients, which is far greater than uh, a lot of our competitors. Along that second dimension, in terms of workflow, uh, our, our system runs automatically in the background. It doesn't require uh, new communication channels to manage or patient portals to manage. And at the end of the day, no workflow disruption. Our other competitive advantages include a very quick deployment uh, uh, model that allows us to get up and running at a new hospital in a matter of weeks, uh, which shortens our sales cycle. Uh, we also have personalized um, sort of messaging that so that when the patients receive these, these messages, it's as though they're coming from their own doctor, and that uh, increases accountability and adherence. And then lastly, we have uh, clinical proof uh, at prestigious institutions that are difficult and costly to replicate. So one such example is we recently conducted a clinical study at a prestigious institution right here in Boston, 
And through over 1,000 patients, we, we showed a 61% reduction in no-show late cancellation, which actually translated to about $800,000 of net loss recovered for that institution. And we showed a 44% reduction in uh, poor prep quality, which in the research community is a proxy for increasing cancer detection rate. And then lastly, 9.6 out of 10 patient satisfaction. Now we know as we become more successful, uh, our competitors are gonna try to replicate our success. So ways that we stay ahead of the curve and build a competitive moat is based on uh, our continuously learning algorithms that not only predict which patients are likely gonna fail, uh, we can actually target patients specifically, subgroups of patients that have certain uh, preferences in terms of how they receive information. And uh, we have the ability to now kind of anticipate questions that people are gonna have all along this journey and deliver it to them at the right time and therefore uh, continue to encourage them to travel along this journey. We're growing our business through two strategies. The first one is growing our offering, co content offering and product portfolio to additional specialties, which allows us to grow our, uh, the scale of our business at these institutions and increase the total contract value. We're also um, landing new uh, hospitals through our clinically proven colonoscopy product. So with these two vectors uh, combined, we anticipate that we can uh, grow our re revenue exponentially over the next five years. Now, if you look at the total available market, uh, we mentioned earlier 11 million lost lots. That's about a $24 billion problem. Now, we think we can address about at least a third of that problem due to, based on literature, uh, poor instruction ad adherence and understanding. And uh, based on our business model, uh, assuming we capture about a quarter of that value that we create for hospitals, it's about a two billion revenue per year potential for us. Now over the last three months with the HealthWorks program, we went from working with three hospitals to now working with over a hospital. We have total contract value of over $240,000. Uh, we also grew our patient user base from less than five daily active users and about 100 uh, total patients to over 1,000 patients and over now 200 daily active users. And it's been really quite a journey. Um, probably the most rewarding aspect about what we do is every day we get patient feedback and surveys and we, and we know that we're helping them overcome some of this frustration and confusion and giving them more confidence in completing their procedures. Um, we've done all of this to date with less than $250,000. We're raising $350,000 to help us get more customers, more patients, uh, publish studies, and expanding our product offering to other specialties. And with Philip as a partner, um, we want to expand our platform to reach patients across uh, segments of the care continuum where we have yet to explore. Basically, every aspect of the patient journey that Philip's touches, we want to be Philip's patient engagement partner. Uh, for example, in the hospital, where uh, Philip's moving from hardware to software suites and helping hospitals improve workflow efficiency, uh, we think we can complement that effort and actually uh, introduce our next generation patient engagement platform to further bolster the hospital's operational efficiency. In the homes, where, where Philip's dominating the connected device, patient, uh, consumer facing devices, we want to complement that effort as well and by increasing utilization and patient satisfaction so that those products can be even more competitive. Um, by most importantly, with the data combined, we think we can come up with really interesting insights uh, and continue to use machine learning algorithm and applications to actually find patient behavioral variables that can further help us drive adherence. It's been an incredible journey working with Philips. Uh, huge shout out and thanks to all the coaches and the mentors that have helped us get to where we are today. We're really excited and can't wait to see where the future takes us. Thank you.